Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in a retirement worth having. Today I met a gentleman who introduced himself as Rooster. I always love the street names because it gives us, well, a little booster. And in life we have moments of time to have a good time and other times we don't. But when older men nod at me, I guess it's them saying, I regard you. And that's okay. As long as they're not trying to play with me, I'm okay with that. But I am not the typical man in the streets. I'm a man who's simply living in a challenge outside of cybercrime, identity theft, and, well, fraud on my life. And there are still other people in this community that want to continue to commit theft and fraud and identity theft on me. And I don't really enjoy that at all. There's always some bitch dyke lesbian who wants to piss all over a homeless man. There's always some black man who wants to put himself in power over a man like me. And there's always some Hispanic community that wants to steal from us. And I've had plenty of stuff stolen from me by that Hispanic community that is sort of taking over 6th and green areas of, well, eateries and fineries and, well, places that we go to have a good time. I had a lovely conversation, very brief albeit, with a Catholic girl this afternoon who was very kind to me and helped me to kind of give my body the nutrients and the water reproduction that I needed in me. And I'm grateful for that and I thanked her for that publicly. I'm also always very grateful when someone in a different position regards what I'm saying to them and they start to pay attention to that. What I'm concerned about today is how the American flag is being played backwards in clothing and in different ways. It's not really wrong, it's just not really right because I think it implies something totally different and something possibly in disguise. We are not in intergalactic warfare as of yet, as is as if we are going back to the 80s television shows that sort of talked about that and I'm guessing that presidents of our world decided how to negotiate out of that because of our humbleness of not being as sophisticated in space travel, as sophisticated in weapons power, and as sophisticated in all the things we have to know in the hour when we're facing alien races and from people from other spaces. And openly I'm not being a puzzler here. I'm being honest about the fact that the show V was pretty scary to me and that there are other marvelous shows that I really enjoyed watching, which names and titles I don't remember now, and I probably watched through Netflix time, but that's not the point, that the liars of the land always look like liars, and they don't get that. You see, we have to be cautious of who our children are hanging out with. We have to be cautious of when they go cross-culturally. My Japanese son was a marvelous kid and was usually welcomed quite well. He did a marvelous job in sing, swing, dancing and singing choir. He also played for some athletics and had a pretty good time while he was here. And after he departed, we had a loss in our life. But what I'm talking about are the children on a campus who are socially inept and often geeky in their ways and in their spelling and in their well-study days. We have to be careful about the foreigners that want to take advantage of them, the ones that want to prey on them, and I'm not being unkind. I'm being honest about life in America, that life in America is now infiltrated by a lot of foreigners from a lot of lands and a lot of people that like to play games with other people's lives. And when they like to play games and when they like to interrupt people's lives, they have a liability, a legal liability and what I like to call a lethal liability. The legal liability is any game you play on someone, any person you harm, any person you interfere with, you are legally liable to on behalf of yourself or on behalf of your company if that's how you introduced yourself or implied you were a part of at any time. You see, men talk a certain way. As a man, I'm running a business, so my job was to interact with someone to provide them information of what I do to make a living and how I earn my living and what I do with my money after that is really up to me. If I have a family, then I'm providing food for that family and shelter in terms of blankets and coverage at night. And my girls know how to wake me if they need to at night for me to pummel some little shitbag who's been harming my life. And openly, they're going to be pretty pissed off at what they've done to me and how they've humbled me. And let me tell you, my wife will be a bitch on wheels to you if you keep playing like you've got rights to me. What I'm talking about is how people love one another. And when people love one another, they are in love with their hearts, their minds, their souls, and everything but what's under the covers. Because what goes on under the covers between adults and couples is private to their life. We have a lot of controversial topics that are floating around the political realm, and we have to stop that because those topics are private to people. Medical rights are private to people. Genitalia rights are private to people. 
Privacy rights are private to people. Financial prowess are private to people. What people earn for a living is usually private to people, although there are publicly careful ways to talk about that. Like, generally speaking, this is the salary range for a person in this industry at this level of career, and this is what I'm expecting to make every year. That's a general way to handle it. But we don't usually hand out to somebody what we make for a salary, what we take home each week, or what we do each month. It's just not something we do. But people who live in the streets do live in the day today. The day today is I've got to sleep, I've got to eat, I've got to poop someplace safe, and openly I have to do it in a way that some little shitbag from a foreign country doesn't pick it up and think they're going to inspect it for something. Because that is actually federally illegal. You don't have the right to take any specimen off of anyone. You don't have the right to undress someone and photograph them. You don't have the right to drug someone and do whatever the fuck you want to them. So let's be really clear about what we're talking about today. That if you are here and don't understand our laws, go the fuck home. Because you don't deserve to be here and your international studentship does not allow you the right to lie about how you're going to get a work visa here or how you're going to get a citizenship here. Do not play with the people of the streets pretending you're pals with them. Stop plying your trade into people who will not help you, don't know how to help you, and could never help you. That's what I'm telling you. That you need to be careful about what you say and what you do around everyone today. We never know who the ill-willed people are of the world is somewhat true. At the, on the other hand, God does, and God can speak to you if you allow him to.